got through autographs, and uh, Coach said I'll come over here to Mark's and take your guys' questions. Uh, yeah, first I'll start off with um, a shout out for the guys, uh, former Turks that have gotten drafted uh, thus far. I know we still have a few more rounds to go, but you know, to see Deontay, JB, Chad thus far um, get picked, and you know, with the hopes that some of the other guys will have an opportunity to hear their names called. Really, I'm proud of those guys. Um, you know, culmination of a strong spring is what today's showcase was about. Uh, I think we got about a hundred and ten plays in. Um, we had 15 really strong practices. I think maybe one practice out of the 15, I was disappointed in maybe the effort, but the, the group as a whole and spring as a whole has been a success for us. Uh, we've stayed relatively healthy. Um, coming out of the day, uh, we we're able to evaluate the new guys as well as some of the younger players uh, that weren't able to contribute as much a year ago. And, and whether it's early enro enrollees or transfers, uh, I thought we got better. Um, we have some work to do obviously this summer as we start preparation uh, for our season opener against my alma mater, the Towson Tigers. Um, but I expect the guys and the culture within that locker room to put the necessary work in for us to be ready come September 2nd. Uh, and with that, I'll open it up to any questions. Congratulations, guys. We'll get you a mic. Start with them in the second row. Coach, first off, any update on the, the two injuries to the defensive backs, Tarheeb and Jaquan? Uh, you know, Jaquan was able to make it back out on the field um, for the game. He was there on the sideline, and we kept him out for, for precautionary uh, measures, which was good to see. I was a little worried there early uh, when I got over there to see see him down, um, but but I think he'll be okay. Uh, with Tarheeb, we're still waiting to get some evaluation done, um, MRI, X-rays, those necessary things, and I haven't had a chance to speak to our uh, athletic training staff just yet, um, but hopefully. Uh, not as serious or not too serious. Mike, your thoughts on the defense, not just today, but overall the spring, what do you see from them and where are they at at this point? Yeah, you know, I, I thought both sides of the ball today, um, it was a game that as a head coach you like to see. Um, competitive there at the end. Early on I thought defense, you know, I was a little worried about, about offense there in the first quarter, the way three and outs and punting so much, but um, a testament to the defensive staff and the job they've done preparation-wise. You know, this was a very limited game plan. We weren't out trying to out-scheme guys today. It was just a matter, of, like I've said before, about running, blocking, tackling, throwing the football, and, and the fundamentals of the game more than anything. And so, you know, I was really pleased with the day's effort. I like the way our defense is continuing to come along. We've added some pieces there, and there'll be a few more pieces as we uh, get the rest of the high school guys that didn't uh, early enroll in here. And I'm expecting us to have a really competitive uh, fall camp to define some roles for some of these guys on that side of the ball. Coach, anything stand out after the first 15 practices? You know, from this, this game, you know, anybody that like you're like, wow, they, they they stepped up. You know, since the last time you saw them in, in a bowl game. You know, we obviously had most improved players. Those guys that that got those awards, and you know, I can't remember all the names, but the most improved players to me were the ones that we as a staff felt. Uh, we're guys that, that definitely improved. I've been happy and I've been on record saying happy with some of the uh, transfer portal guys that we were able to get. Guys like Caden Prather, Tyrese Chambers, filling voids left by some talented receivers. I've been really happy with the Jordan Phillips kid there on the defensive front. Um, you know, I, I, we saw Quayshawn Fuller really have a strong uh, spring force as a guy that was here uh, during last season, but his development still coming along. Happy with Taze Johnson. You know, I keep going on and on. This has been a really good spring, really productive force. And like I said, it's uh, the catalyst as we lead into summer camp and our summer camp conditioning and training uh, as we start preparation for a season opener. Yeah, next two in the second row left. Hey, Coach. Uh, what can you say about the new wide receivers, Tyrese Chambers and Caden Prather, and how you think they'll do after the fall and how they did today? Yeah, I thought both Caden Prather and, uh, and Tyrese both did a really good job. They're both still uh, in that learning mode, the tempo in which we play, and being able to get lined up cleanly. But, you know, a testament today, Tyrese made a couple of plays, some big catches there uh, for us, and then Tyre uh, uh, Caden also made a few plays down the field for us, which showed to me the type of players they have the potential to be. And now what we got to do is continue to keep the timing down with Talia and those guys and, you know, losing the, the, the production that we lost in Dante Demas, Rakim Jarrett, and Jacob Copeland. 
I was glad to see the way these guys kind of came in, assimilated, and, and, and can help us continue our uh, trajectory in the right direction offensively. Thank you. Coach, what did you see from the white team's defensive line? They got four sacks. What were you seeing? You say red and white, man. I don't know which team was which. Man. With the uh, Quayshawn, the King Sote. Well, again, those guys are, you know, heard their names called a lot for awards. Uh, I think, you know, Tommy was able to get the, you guys voted for him as the defensive lineman of the game. Um, losing guys like Ami Finau and, and Mo Kite and, 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 and Greg Rose, you know, again, a lot of plays, a lot of players that, that were producers for us. Uh, it's time for a guy like Tommy King Basote, and we've challenged them all spring to really step up. Um, he's going into year three in this program, and it's now time for him to become one of the leaders there. And I've been happy with the way he's progressed. Uh, the guy that's really done a great job is the Taze Johnson. You know, I've been really pleased with, with Taze in terms of his development, his maturity, his leadership, and I'm hoping that he can continue that, uh, continue to do those things throughout the summer. Quayshawn, again, is one of the more improved guys. Uh, a year ago, played some limited reps for us, but really this spring has been disruptive and doing the things that we thought he'd be capable of doing. And then on the other side, I you know. I get two questions. <laughs> <laughs> Reshaped offensive line. What did you think about the group that was protecting Talia today? You know, the additions of, of Gotti and, and Corey Bullock and moving DJ over to the left side. You know, we lost three starters that have been starters here for three, four years. and. That's a lot of production, a lot of games. And so uh, to be able to find additions like those guys, as well as Doomerville, who's come in and, they, and they've all kind of picked up where those guys left off. This summer's going to be huge for us. Uh, you know, we're still in the process as this portal window closes of trying to maybe add a couple of bodies uh, and hopefully uh, to, to give us what we need to be able to start preparation. But I like the way the O-line is shaping up. Coach Braswell, Louis Swallow, one of our assistant uh, analysts, they've done a really good job with the group and getting the new guys caught up to speed, but still some work to do. Uh, Coach, what are some areas that you guys need to improve on? Uh, um, I'd say special teams, you know, just the fundamentals of it. You know, we play a lot of players. I think last year we played, you know, had 44 different players maybe start for us. Uh, for us to become a championship level team, you know, we've got to play really good special teams and not let them uh, be detrimental to the success we can have. So, you know, I think this summer is going to be really important for some of these young players and newer players to embrace the role. You know, if you look at the guys that have left here and gone on to play in the NFL, guys like Chig and, and Sam Oquanko, those guys have had to participate on special teams. And I think a lot of players are starting to see the value of it. And for us, you can judge the character of the team by how they play special teams. And we've got to, in my opinion, continue to make strides like we had on offense and defense uh, in that area of the game. And, and not fundamental, not technical fundamentally, but just the effort and embracing that special teams is going to be a huge part of our ability to win and compete for championships. Hey, Coach. Um, and you kind of touched on the, the, some of the whatnot earlier, but uh, just the younger quarterbacks, you know, Cam Edge and, and Jaden Saray, both of them now coming up on nearly a full year with the program, full spring ball. Um, what have you kind of seen from them this spring? Yeah, Cam has done a really good job. You know, he's a guy that has the, shown the mental maturity. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of ebbs and flows of, of, of riding the wave of emotions that come with playing that position. And I like the, the, you know, the makeup he has as a quarterback. He made some big throws today and, and really had a chance to compete, you know, taking most of the reps there behind the 109. Um, and I thought he did a really good job throughout the spring. He's a worker. Um, he's the last guy out off the field, um, first guy on the field. He's always looking to get better. And I've been pleased with the way he's developed. You know, with Jaden Saray, he's a guy that's continuing a work in progress. You know, he, he, he requested and wanted to be in a live jersey today, which I think uh, is a testament to him wanting to show case the ability he has not just as a thrower but a runner and you know he did some nice things today too and we've got to continue to develop those guys uh here in the next this summer up through the season because uh you never know you may have to count on those guys and i feel i feel good about you know the way they're developing how have you seen uh, preston Hallett come along and grow in the tight end position after playing quarterback in high school you know, it's not just Preston Howard. I mean, I, I love the kid in terms of, you know, again, played the quarterback position, played defense, has shown to be tough, smart, reliable, the three things we we're always looking for. And, 
you know, those young tight ends are going to have opportunities to play. You see Corey, we know what Corey's capable of from a production standpoint. But to see Preston and some of the plays he made today, he's done it all spring. And it's just a matter of him acclimating to the speed a little bit more. Um, but he's going to be a special guy or a special player around here. And then I've been really pleased with Rico Walker, a uh, guy that plays heavy-handed, um, really short hands, snatches the ball, and plays with the physicality that's not atypical of a young player. So with those two young tight ends, I think the future is really bright in that room. And I've been pleased with the way they've been developed. Hey, Mike. Uh, those guys uh, in the second half, the running game specifically, kind of picked up there. Do you specifically guys like Antoine and, and Colby, them as veterans now, do they play a role in helping bringing on some of the offensive linemen guys and helping them adjust to the system? Yeah, the, the running back room now are veterans. You know, when you look at the production, you know, Kobe was a guy, and you know, we're starting to see flashes of the, the two years ago, Kobe McDonald, and I've been happy uh, with, with seeing that development because he was a guy a couple of years ago that played before Roman Hemby and Antoine. And so the, the talent, it's there. Uh, the consistency is what we're striving for with him, but he's a guy that had a much, much better spring and really pleased with uh, how he how he played. Um, Ramon Brown, you know, got nicked up here about a week ago, but he was a guy that was really coming on. And then you look at guys like Roman and Antoine who played, had their lion's share of the, the reps a year ago. Uh, both those guys with, you know, Coach Scott coming in and the development that he uh, has had with that group, I've been really pleased with. You know, they're no longer the young guys anymore. They're veteran guys that are, have to start taking some leadership roles within our team. Coach, what's the difference in coaching when you get to actually be on the field as opposed to the sideline? How much more can you see? Well, I mean, uh, obviously being, I call that the, the sweet spot, the behind and being able to visualize and see safeties, alignments, and everything. I mean, it's a great view. Uh, when you watch film, the end zone shot is a shot that gives you the ability to see leverage, angle, and, and the necessary things. You know, being on the field like that, that's how I'm usually on the field in practice. So um, used to it, but, you know, get back on the sideline here for games. Right. And can you take me through that play? You almost caught the kickoff. You were awful. Yeah, I should have made that catch, man. I was, <laughs> was, was, was disappointed, you know. It took my eye off of it, didn't necessarily keep follow track it. High hands, we always talk about that. It was, it was really disappointing because that's a play I usually make. <laughs> hey, Lox, how's it going? What's going on, Alex? Not too much. Uh, you touched on it at the beginning, but these three days, seeing a lot of Terps go pro, um, just how, how special of a few days is do you, How much do you look forward to it every year, and what kind of pride do you feel today? Uh, you know, for these guys that are going to the next level? Yeah, it's a dream come true for these guys, and uh, a guy who understands, you know, I didn't play at that level, but just what this great game of football has done for my life, a, a brown leather ball with air and it changed the lineage of the Loxley family. And for these guys that are having opportunities to hear their names called while having earned degrees or working toward earning degrees, when you sit on people's couch and recruit um, them here and you talk about that, collecting them on the front of the bridge of manhood and getting them over the bridge and having them be better versions of themselves because of the time they spent in your program. That's what it's all about. And, you know, I'm very hopeful that we'll be able to hear a bunch more names called, um, some talented, talented players that play a major role in getting us to where we are today and, and creating the foundation that's necessary to start playing uh, championship level football. So best of luck to the guys who haven't had their names called, and again, you know, congratulations to the guys who have. Just a super quick follow-up on that last part. Two more ties the program record, three would break it. Uh, I mean, what do you think that would say about where this program's at if, if it's the most ever to get drafted in one year? Um, I mean, I, I think it uh, lends itself to say that, as I always say, we're a developmental program, and it's not a negative to be developmental. It means we're always working to improve. Uh, we do a great job of taking players and, you know, not all five-star guys that come in here and, and because of the coaching staff, because of the support staff we have, we were able to develop them into what, you know, NFL people see as value to their organizations. And it's a testament to the kids. It's a testament to all the people that touch them during their time here. And, uh, you know, as the leader of the program, definitely proud to see it and very hopeful that it's a, a, a trend where we every year we can keep improving on that. Thanks, coach. Thank you very much.